Hey everybody, long time no see. And it's been a while since I've done a video having to do with the moon landings. And I know I said a few years back that I was done with them, but I'm still an advocate of critical thinking and like it or not, moon landing deniers provide great examples of poor critical thinking in action. The latest example, this topic right here. Orion is getting ready to launch. Anyone who has any dealings with moon landing deniers knows this video. This is the Orion trial by fire video where NASA engineer Kelly Smith explains the Orion craft's flight test, its goals, and its challenges. YouTuber Superformance72 has made the most prominent video accusation online and he sent me a link to his video. I corrected his bad assumptions, but I've since received dozens of comments, one or two every week, linking to this video or variations of this video with the same victorious exclamations. NASA admits they can't get past the Van Allen belts, or NASA admits they never made it past the Van Allen belts. Now, where do they get this claim? Well, it all extends from one passage spoken by engineer Kelly Smith in the trial by fire video. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Here's how Superformance and others have interpreted that passage. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Wait a minute. We must solve this issue before sending people through this space? What happened during the moon missions? Didn't they go through the Van Allen belt as well? So, I don't know. Just wanted to point out this discrepancy where in this video, this guy is talking about how the equipment can fail and the navigation can fail and we're going to have to figure this out before we put people through it. Well, what's to figure out? Didn't you guys figure that out like 50 years ago or something? This interpretation of Smith's statement is a classic example of quote mining. That's when you take a statement out of its original context in order to make it appear to support a position you wish to put forward. And if you ignore context, you can see the interpretation. We, must we the entirety of NASA and its history, must solve these challenges must solve, meaning they have yet to solve it after all these decades, before we send people through this region of space. In other words, they've yet to send people through that region of space. And the deniers have been celebrating because to them, they finally have the proof that they have long been saying would come someday. Well, it hasn't come yet because this isn't it. You see, context does matter. And in this case, the context is that of the Orion spacecraft. Because Kelly Smith in this passage, and indeed this whole video, is talking entirely, speaking specifically about the Orion craft, its goals, and its challenges. And it's not like the video is vague about it in any way. Orion for Orion. Orion, Orion, before we can send astronauts into space on Orion, for Orion's first flight, Orion, Orion, Orion's journey, Orion's to Orion. Orion continues to imagine you are traveling with Orion on Orion. Orion has Orion's jets, Orion, 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 for Orion, the Orion's Orion. And in the section about the Van Allen belts, he's discussing what NASA has to do to ensure Orion is up to the task of going through the belts with passengers. Before we can send astronauts into space on Orion, we have to test all of its systems. And there's only one way to know if we got it right. Fly it in space. Flight tests are difficult and complex, but they give us confidence that the systems we have designed work under real flight conditions. We must- The engineers working on the Orion craft- we Must solve these challenges. The challenge of the Orion's craft shielding against the radiation belt has to be solved. Before we send people through this region of space. On the Orion craft. Now, some moon landing deniers will concede the context of the quote, and they will say, but why do they have to come up with a solution for the belts with this craft? Didn't they solve the shielding concerns of the belts decades ago? Why don't they use the same shielding method from the Apollo mission since they work so well? Why reinvent the wheel? And that question makes sense. Well, it only makes sense if you think coming up with a different shielding system as reinvention. But this isn't reinventing the wheel. This is redesigning the wheel to fit a different vehicle with different requirements. And this, of course, should be obvious. Would anyone argue that since the engineers had to design a wheel for this vehicle and a suspension system and a steering system, would anyone argue that this vehicle must have been fake? I mean, if they already have wheels, suspension, and steering solved, why not just use the old system for the new? Unless the old system never existed. 
Of course, no one would say that. The situation with Orion compared to Apollo is no different. The Orion craft has different design, it's bigger, it's made out of different materials, it has different mission goals, and contains electronics and computer systems that are smaller and closer together than could be imagined back in the old days. And that size and density of computer systems is much more vulnerable to radiation than computers in the old days. So they have to redesign the shielding to meet the new operating standard. That's just being sensible on the most basic level. What was an allowable amount of radiation exposure to the systems in 1969 could be devastating to a modern system. Why would you not update the shielding? And once you've updated the shielding for the new craft, shouldn't you test it? That's what this entire trial by fire video is about. It's about taking this craft that has been built for this mission and testing out the designs to make sure that they meet the standards for that mission. But the moon landing deniers act like they shouldn't even have to test the craft at all. I mean, it supposedly worked in 1969, right? Just take the old Apollo shielding, slap it on the new craft, stick people in it, and go already since you did it before. How do they not understand how ignorant that sounds? Think about it. If it was Toyota and they said, we have a new 4Runner for 2016, it's got 25% more interior space so you can get two more passengers in it, the engine is more powerful so you can tow more and accelerate faster, but since we have a working braking system and passenger safety system in our old vehicles that we know work, we're just going to stick those old systems in this bigger, faster vehicle and we're not going to waste time or money testing it because we know the old systems work, we're just going to start selling those puppies to the public right now. Drive safely, folks. Would that be acceptable? Of course not. So why are the moon landing deniers arguing this? I think it's because they have such a deep need for the moon landings to be fake that they ignore common sense. Well, it's not so much that they ignore it, it just seems that the need that they have has transformed what is sensible to them. In their distorted reality, a NASA engineer saying that Orion needs to have its shielding tested before sending people in it becomes an admission that Apollo crafts never went through the Van Allen belts. This is what I mean when I say thinking is critical because sense is not common. Because what we define as common sense is guided by our needs and, and our world view. We need applied critical thinking to cut through that. I've said it before, I don't make these videos to convince people the moon landings happen. I make these videos to point out that the positions taken and the arguments made by moon landing deniers show an utter lack of critical thinking on their part. So I made this video because frankly I'm tired of having to respond to the same declaration every week. So from now on I'm just going to link to this video. And if someone comes to you with the same foolish claim, that same distorted view of reality, send them here. I've got something for them.